Gascon handpicked his men, those most adept with daggers, not swords. Noiselessly, they glided through the dark toward the castle, the light of its lanterns blurred by the evening mist. Meave watched anxiously as the boats glided away, her heart pounding in her ears. All depended on this mission. The fate of her realms, perhaps all the north, the lives of her troops, and her own. Now there was naught she could do but wait. Good luck, she whispered, gazing at the fortress walls, cloaked by the dark that seemed oh, to surround oh. all now. The Lyrians prepared for battle, their silence absolute, in darkness, illuminated only by the pale light of the moon. Meave was restless. She paced nervously in a circular pattern, awaiting the signal they'd agreed upon. Blast, it's taking long. Much, much too long. Finally, a torch's faint glow appeared atop the towering walls. It disappeared, then glowed again, and one more time around. Meave leapt in the air, and as she did so, barely stifled a cry of utter joy. They made it. It worked. Moments later, Lyrians in the hundreds burst from the trees. The Nilfgaardian defenders loaded their catapults and ballistae. They did so slowly, convinced the castle walls remained impenetrable. Then they heard chains grinding and clinking, and the sound sent shivers down their spines. Bewildered, they watched the main gate rise as the attacking force rushed forth. A chase! Quan and Lydian! General Epdahi dispatched an elite unit to take back the winch at once. Yet he saw this was in vain and all was lost when Meave rode into the castle courtyard. Meave had begun the day known as a great warrior. Yet by night's end, legend was the cloak she wore. Her shield stopped powerful blow after blow as her blade found gaps in her foe's black armor. At first, Nilfgaardians scoured the fray in search of the queen, hoping to prove great heroes. Soon, she was their chief scourge, and they began to flee before her blade that sung their death. Retreat! Retreat! What was this extraordinary vigor that surged through Meave? Naturally, she wished to liberate her castle and realm, drive off the invaders, defeat the arrogant General Epdahi. But in that moment, above all else, she longed to fight her way through to the guardhouse and bring Gascon's party relief. Follow me! Move! Move! Meave had expected the worst. A bloodbath, piles of corpses. Yet all in the guardhouse was eerily quiet and calm. The door to the winch room lay shattered, true, but this was the one sign there'd been any sort of struggle. What happened here, she thought. Cautiously, she entered, looking, searching for any trace of Gascon and his fighters. Instead, she spotted Willem, curled up in a corner, clutching his bloodied belly, his fingers not enough to stop all the holes. Meave tore off her cloak and went to stem the bleeding. Willem. What happened here? Marox. I sought to write them. Wheezed the prince. <laughs> Please. Forgive me. <laughs> the young prince choked on this last word, did not manage to utter it, before his eyes went dull. Moments later, her men entered the room to find the queen kneeling, pounding the wall with her fists, her eyes I guess he opened up the gate. Willem lay motionless How did they know the sign, though? Her cloak. Gascon know. pushed his way through the other foot soldiers. He knelt beside the queen and whispered what had happened. His unit had not managed to reach the gate in time, but Willem had. Upon seeing Lyrian forces converging on the fort, the prince had rushed to the guardhouse and opened the gate himself. By the time Nilfgaardians closed it again, it was too late. The Lyrians were through. The queen rose, her fists clenched, her shoulders rigid, her knuckles white. Her face betrayed no sorrow, no despair, just rage, hot as a forge, 
immeasurable. Now's not the time to mourn. Seethed Meave, struggling to stay calm. Now's the time for war, for slaughter, revenge. With victory today, we'll recover our home, return to our kin and set our blades aside at last. Yet until victory is ours, they must drink. Drink greedily of Nilfgaardian blood! The Lyrians were at the brink, near their breaking point. They'd followed me for thousands of miles, over snow-clad peaks, through forbidding swamps. They'd fought, survived countless battles at her side. And though their gazes were now weary, she knew they'd follow her into fire. Your Grace, the black clads, they've holed themselves up in the upper keep. We went to breach the wall, alas to no avail. Meave nodded, twirled her sword, then leapt upon a mount. Her eyes spoke pure determination. So we'll bloody well try again. Standard battle. Standard story battle. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. That's rare. Right? Okay. Well not. This Fuck. is it, Miss Do you hear me? I shall stick your head on a pike. Is lit again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, let's go. Excuse you. anything on this room. I must thank you. Your fortress has superbly solid walls. Shit. Damn. Keep them from buffing. What? What? Okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Put them on this row, man. Yeah, I was gonna say something, Enough. but it was too, it was too quick. Need to hear this. Kill her. That bit's the white of an eye from our fully away. Yeah, I can't do anything. Okay, so don't kill anything. Just bring the total value down. Bigger 
bigger they are, easier they are to target. No, you weren't supposed to hit that one. that still don't kill one and freaking replace it yeah so i would just put down the mohawk mail and then pass That's gonna get boosted. Hey, hey, don't toss that. It's perfectly usable. This will kill it before it gets boosted, right? Yeah. Thing about slings, 
behind well. I'm a monster. I warned you. I don't know what that I can win those. Again and again and again. Yeah, we had a really bad starting hand. He gets to draw more. Crazy. I mean, like, the only way I can think to beat him is to fuck it have a million things in our deck to where we can just no because we can only do that once yeah hmm that'll boost somebody want it no he's dead Victory. And just when you thought things were about to get dull, that helps. Should we put a uh, a trap on the back row first before we start moving people? This is the problem, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so stupid. I think we have to let him flood his own board. Yeah, but like... <laughs> uh, 
I, I guess we just get like. Let it be night. Obscure the sun with arrows. Dude, this is actual craziness. I think we'd have to completely remake our deck just for this. Oh no, he's pulling an us on us. Yep. Yeah, there's no way we run round one or round two. We have two cards. That was not in the spell books. Hmm. Oh, so he just like he gets just get boosted, I guess. Forfeit. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, this is feeling like a puzzle battle. I don't like it. <laughs> well, last checkpoint. Yeah. I mean, we can just try again. Let's right. see. Hope for a better first hand, I guess. Noon. So I might play this turn one. No, this this is actually terrible. Because it, it doesn't matter. He's just going to spawn more. Yeah. So I don't even want to touch these. Uh, I just want to keep his down. You man, don't shake that. has superbly solid walls. I think we need him for the second part of the fight. Micromanage. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna need anyone, so I think we just set it up. I can do this in two. Hey. 
Oh no, he gets boosted again. My drummer. You drummer then. Huh? Oh, never mind. Well, you can you can um, move something else on top that's not Blitz with her ability. Blitz. drummers left one yeah I really didn't want to use that one that's not I mean we can get rid of the Phoenix of course it could be good yeah. to just want to pass. Because yeah. we won't win with yeah. this buffing itself up and I don't have a way to stop it. Mm -hmm. and on fine! Oh, he put perseverance on it. It's called no, this time's perseverance.
Found you. <laughs> oh, it's because it's like all, all my lower level dudes left. Nice. Oh, so then, no other way. And then he probably just drew another one of those. We're not killing that. Front yet again. Mm, and we can't draw through the rest of our deck, or he'll get ten every turn. Why? Because his uh, hero ability. If we don't have anything in our deck then he just gets 10 I can't even see what else we have in our deck
Her Majesty is exceptional. These are wild, so. Either way, no matter what I pick, if I use my other dude, mm -hmm. he summons all of them. So I guess it's what do I want most here? Probably this, because I might get to reuse. Oh yeah, I will get to reuse it once. Bigger they are, easier they are to touch. Oh, I forgot about that. That's so dumb. Yeah. I can't even hardly move these because I'll kill them. Yeah. Ooh, you can kill the the uh the ballista with the what you call it, the medic the armor smith blacksmith guy and the lightning. I can kill it with Ian Hall too. Once I use this, I just wanted to make sure I had everything done before I use that. Yeah. Turn. And just when you thought things were about to get dull. Let it be night. Obscure the sun with arrows. I can use her to summon one of them. Yeah.
something from nothing, it's exactly what I do. Yeah, and that has like vanished or whatever. Cannot summon that last guy. Now we just gotta hope, I guess. That was not in the spell books. Hey! more. Just don't hit that other fucking pikeman, please. No. <laughs> no. Stop. Stop. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Tell me where. Nilfgaard Please no. had the upper hand, yet the black clad spirits had suffered. They now made more use of shields than of swords. When me finally broke through their line, they raised their arms in surrender. Rivia Castle had fallen. It was hers once more. Troke! Nein to win! Meave showed her prisoners of war mercy, knowing full well they'd only followed orders. Death would be the fate of only Ardal Epdahi, the one Nilf Guardian who'd issued those commands. Alas, the general had disappeared. A prisoner revealed Epdahi had fled as soon as the Lyrians had surged towards the upper keep. He had glided down to the lower castle in a wicker basket for transporting food. Curled up beneath potato skins and other scraps, he'd scurried away not unlike a common maggot. Meave cursed her luck and leaned back against a merlin. Dawn was yet a few hours off, but the horizon had already begun to glow blood red. The Nilfgaardian reserves now drew near, too late to prevent the castle's fall. I'll get him, muttered the queen, more to herself than anyone else. I swear on all that's sacred, I'll catch the bastard. But now we've a pressing matter to see to, preparing the defense. That night, the war turned, with the battle for Rivia Castle as its fulcrum. 
Meave's great victory, not only retaking the stronghold in a single evening, but also fending off a further invading army, proved the Nilfgaardian Colossus had feet of clay. <laughs>